Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legends Out of the Wind Waker. We've crashed into the Forsaken Fortress, and we don't have a sword. Your sword, and la sword landed all the way up there. Shoot, I'm sorry. I apologize. I guess my aim was a off by a little bit. Heh, <laughs> look on your face. The look, the look on your face, priceless. Hey, I slipped this stone into your pocket just before we fired you over there. It's no ordinary stone either. I can see what you're doing through this stone, and obviously you can hear me through it. So, if you see the A button flash, just randomly, you'd better press that button. I've put the stone on your quest status screen. Use, uh, the arrow to, on the item screen to take a look. It's pretty basic. Hey, but listen carefully. I need this back after you save your sister, so don't go losing it. You understand? All right then. T down to brass tra tacks. The courtyard is awash with searchlights, so they'll see you, r you right away. If you just go charging in, better you better think it through. Okay, so basically, uh, yeah, everything will see us. These bar this barrel, though, is very special because we can actually hide inside of it, and so we won't get seen. As long as we're not moving, probably. But anyway, I actually want to get seen by this light. Because, apparently, it's faster to get caught. And get thrown in this little prison cell, but still. I don't actually know how much faster it can make things, but still. I'm gonna do it anyway. But anyway, let's go into this little hole up here, which is conveniently behind this pot for us. And we can get out of ourselves fairly quickly. So if the, sp the searchlights see you, you get thrown in jail. If uh, a moblin sees you, which are bigger enemies, uh, usually carrying their own lanterns and a spear-like weapon, they will actually put you in jail as well. But anyway... For being up here, we can actually get this treasure chest here. Very convenient. Which is the dungeon map. You can view it by tapping the map screen on the Wii gamepad. And even see rooms you haven't been to yet. That's useful. So I'm assuming that I can also use... Yeah, I can also use the start menu to actually see that. We can switch between map and items, which is going to be fairly basic. So we can also see which floor Link is on by the icon next to the floor uh, number. And we can also see the different floors. So yeah. And the doors between each area. And I guess that X is where we need to go. Exterior. With the searchlights. Okay. But anyway, I think I'm going to go down real quick. Even though I can't get back up now. Because I believe that there is actually a thing here that I can do now, I suppose. Because I can press down the switch and then go into the cell, and there's actually a treasure chest here, which has... I think I know what this is. Nope, it's a piece of heart, cool. Collect four of these to complete our new heart container. More heart containers equal more life. So for every four of those that we collect, we get another heart at the top of the screen. Which we can reco recover health with by collecting small hearts. But anyway, these are the moblins I talked about that need to catch us, so... Just gonna put our hands up, I guess, and go back to jail. But anyway, let's actually go where we need to go now. We can't actually get to the end of the Forsaken Fortress without taking out the spotlights. So we actually have to take out the spotlights, I guess, so... We have to go to where they are and stop them. Otherwise we'll be caught because they are blocking the path that we need to take to get out of here. Or to save our sister, I guess. But anyway, we swing across here, and let me check the map, because that's going to be very helpful. Uh, exterior. I think I actually want to go over this way first. So let's do that. Actually, is this a thing here, or is this... Okay, this is actually a thing. Listen up, Link. There is a monster running the searchlight up there. 
if you can slay the monster, then just maybe it will shut the searchlight down. Oh, but you are unarmed, aren't you? All you have is a shield. If I were you, I'd try to use my shield to deflect the monster's blows and see if I could make it drop its weapon. If you did that, you could pick its up its weapon with A. Well, that's just me. What'll you do? That's a pretty helpful hint to have. Uh, but not necessary, actually. You can, I guess, deflect this weapon, which I didn't actually know about. But also, if we play our cards right, there should just be a pot of sticks over here that we can break open, and we can pick up one of those. I think it's the same weapon that the sticks are actually what they're using as a weapon, so... Should make things fairly simple. Except that once we pick it up, it's actually going to work differently. We'll have to actually use the A button to swing, and our moves are a lot more limited. But anyway, just need to take it out, and we're done. The searchlight is now off, just pointing straight into the sky, which is not suspicious whatsoever. Uh, but anyway, if we're holding, uh, using a hold weapon, you can also just press B to throw it. Which can be useful sometimes, but anyway, can't get that anymore. But actually, this is actually really helpful to be here, because we can actually jump off of here, and we can go get this searchlight straight away without having to go through the tunnels that I thought I'd had to go through. Good thing I didn't then. Oh my goodness, this is actually the most efficient I've probably ever been in this place. And I don't even know what I'm doing, basically. It's been a long time since I actually played through this game normally. Okay, let's take you out. Please. Can you come over here so I can not have to worry about hitting something, like a wall, and getting stunned? There we go. You can also press ZR to drop. There we go. Very nice. Now, just dropping a rupee. I like the way that they die in a puff of that smoke, I guess. But anyway, that's two sludge lights, but there's still one more. And then we can move on, I guess. There's also those rupees down there that are tempting me, but also there's still the spotlight. And I don't know if I'm going to go back after that point anyway. And I also don't know what other treasures I need to find while I'm here. Which is a little bit concerning because there are a few things that we could also get optionally. But it doesn't matter too much if we don't get them now. Actually, I think this is all of them, maybe? This treasure chest, possibly? Because this should be... The compass. Each dungeon has a compass and also a map. Now you can see where things are hidden in the dungeon. View the map screen and see for yourself. So now, if we open up this, we can see where treasure chests are, and we can actually see there's one over there that I need to probably go get, maybe? But yeah, it shows where chests are, which is useful. Um, I kind of feel like getting that treasure, but I'm not sure if I can get it, actually. Maybe? Actually, no, I can. I just need to go the long way around, basically, to get it. Now, is this where... no. But almost. And actually, we've actually killed all the spotlights that we need to do. We don't have to get all of them, but we can get all of them, so I'm going to do all of them. Because why not? So let's go up here. There's a ladder over there, but we can't reach because it's too high up. And let's go up this way, though, so we can get the last spotlight. Now, where's the... there? Let me just break that open. And let's take this last guy out. Ow. Oh, ow. Okay, you do actually drop your weapon whenever you hit my shield. That's interesting. I've never seen that before. Cool. But anyway, that guy's done. And he dropped a heart for me. I guess that will help recover the one quarter of a heart that I lost. But anyway, that's all the spotlights done. I really love the Forsaken Fortress, if I have not mentioned. Just the whole idea of it is really cool to me. But anyway, I'm gonna figure out where I need to go. I think over there. I need to check the map. Where's the treasure chest? Over there. I don't... I, th I think that's over there, so I'm gonna have to... 
a long way to get there, or I could jump down there and follow that path and jump down there, I think. I think I can do that. I don't actually know, but I'm going to do it anyway because I'm a fool and I'm going to pay for my own mistakes. And I'm also going to grab these rupees because I want them. We can also go through this door over here, but there is moblins in there guarding everything. We can also roll upstairs, which is nice, because in, I think, Ocarina of Time, you can't do that. Or maybe that's, um, uh, Twilight Princess, maybe. But also, it's interesting that Link also steps up the steps fairly normally. Although that might just be the, my eyes playing tricks on me. Now, let me see if I can actually do this the way I thought I could. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go around the long way inside. Okay, I can actually go through there. And we can go into here. Which I hope isn't a mistake. Nope, this is where the treasure is. But also this thing here is, sees us and is going to laser eye us, kind of. Except we're faster than that, slightly. A yellow rupee is worth ten. Well, worth. It's worth. Now let's get out of here, I guess. Uh, is this where I need to go? Actually, don't think I can... No, I can. There's a little ladder here. I can get to the upper path from here, which is nice. Just need to grab this lantern. Oh, uh, no, I really messed that up. Oh, well. Let me try that again. I could also go the other way around. It's a big loop, so... Until you get to the main bit where I'm trying to get to. Which way do I need to go? I need to go this way, right? Yeah, so I need to grab this lantern. And jump across. Don't fall off. Well, that was close. Let's go this way. Which is a bit odd to be going this way, but I wanted to check what was in that treasure chest. Which is just 10 rupees, so it's not really necessary, but I wanted to do it anyway. There's also this box here. For no reason, I guess. Oh, hang on. What do you have to say? Aha! I've got it, Link. In order to reach the top of the tower where your sister... Sister's being held, you'll have to find the room right below the tower. You've got to take the door to the outside and then climb up from there. You got that? I don't think this box has any purpose, so I might actually just be able to break it by rolling into it, which is a little bit unfortunate in other places because in other places you actually need it. But yeah, you can actually just break it like that. I don't know why that's there. That's so weird. Anyway, let's go over this way. And now it actually probably would have been better to go the other way, just, just, I just realized. Because this room exists. Which is pretty much the same as it is going the other way, I guess, but also still. So, we need to use this barrel, which we can hide inside of, to go past these moblins without them seeing us. Which is easier said than done. But as long as we can follow behind them and then get them to... Oh my goodness, this is probably the wrong way to go. If you go the other way, you come through that door and you can just... You can just, um... Go past this one without having to go past, past both, of, both of them. Which is a little bit harder to do. They can hit you. Hit you, but they've also got a spotlight to actually see you with... If you're too close to them. Oh, he's sniffing. Also, that mouse there, I feel like it can hurt you, which will make you get seen, probably. Also, I can see cool stuff down there. This is a very cool room, but also I need to run. But also I need to run. Okay. Should be good. Run for the door. Okay, cool. We're up this way now. We are on the path. Okay. Let's keep going. But there are still more moblins to worry about up ahead. Like that one right there. But luckily, once again, there's a barrel that we can hide inside of here. So let's see if we can get past him. If, if they do see you, oh, stop moving and just hide. But they can sometimes get very close to you to tr check to make sure you're actually a barrel. Whoa. Just risking it slightly right now by moving a little bit at a time. I should probably just wait for him to pass me before moving on. I can't move right now. I, I really can't move right now. I have to wait for him to go past. And then... Nope, he saw me. Ah, it's fine. Just 
just need to wait for him to ignore everything because there's nothing here. I just, I started moving too soon. But anyway, let's get rid of that barrel so we can move faster and get away from here. And let's go up this path. Now, if we hadn't taken out one of those spotlights, I think it's the closest one to here, maybe. Or one of, maybe the middle one. It's one of them. If you don't get it, there will be spotlights here stopping us from getting through here. And also, I believe, if we go down here, we can actually push this box down by grabbing it and then pushing forward. Don't roll into it, because otherwise it'll break. So we have a little shortcut there to get back up if we need to. Uh, and there's also another one down there that we missed because we took the other path. But I'm just going to leave that for now. It would probably be smart to actually have taken, put, put the other shortcut there. But, oh well. I'm just going to regret it later on, probably. But anyway, let's sidle past this area. And then we should be at our destination. Okay, this is the first one. There's a spotlight normally over here, but we've taken them all out, so we should be good. And we get some hearts along the way. That's not ominous. Okay. I missed there. Just a little bit more. And let's go. There's our sword. But now we're trapped, and there's also a slightly stronger Bokoblin here, who has a shield. You got back the hero's sword you dropped. Now you're in business. Take care not to drop it again. Also, this is the mini-boss music for the rest of the game, and it's really cool. But anyway, let's take out this enemy, who doesn't even stand a chance. He has a nice weapon, though. Might try using that against him, if I don't get stuck against a wall. There we go. And that door opens. I like that you can just take the enemy's weapons with you. I mean, you, you can't take them with you, but you can take them. Anyway, if we try to open a door, we'll just drop whatever weapon we're carrying. And continue. Link. Link. Wake up, Link. Pull yourself together, Link. Well, have you come to your senses yet? Uh, you are surprisingly dull-witted. 
Did I startle you? I suppose that is only not natural. As wide as the world is, I am the only boat upon it who can speak the words of men. I am the king of red lions. Do not fear. I am not your enemy. Link. I have been watching you since you went to the Forsaken Fortress to rescue your sister. I understand how your de desire to protect your sister could give you the courage to fearlessly stand up to anything, but such a bold attempt was foolhardy. I suppose you saw him, the shadow that commands the monstrous bird. His name is... Ganon. He who obtained the power of the gods attempted to cover the, this land in darkness and was ultimately sealed away by the very power he hoped to command. He is the very same Ganon, the Emperor of the Dark Realm the ancient legends spoke, speak of. I do not know why the seal of the gods has failed, but now that Ganon has returned, the world is once again being threatened by his evil magic. Tell me, Link, do you still wish to save your sister from him? And will do anything to save her? I see. In that case, I shall guide you as we go forward, adv advising you on what you should do and where you must go. Ganon cannot be defeated by human hands, let alone by what little strength you possess. The key to defeating Ganon is locked away in a great power that you can wield only after much toil and hardship. Do you understand? In that case, we depart to the Great Sea. Uh, but I am getting ahead of myself. This is actually a bit, actually a bit embarrassing for me to admit. But although I am indeed a boat that possesses the power of speech, I possess no sail. And with uh, and a boat with no sail can sail no seas. I have brought you far to the east of the dark gaze of the Forsaken Fortress. On this island is a town of merchants who deal in a wide variety of goods. If you search hard enough, surely you can find the one who will sell you a sail. I am sorry to ask this of you, but without a sail, I will be useless to you. This island of merchants is home to many valuable goods. The information they provide you may come in handy during your endeavours at sea, so listen carefully to their words and heed them well. But remember, there is no time to play. Come back here immediately as soon as your errand is done. Sure. So here we are now. Have a sword again, which is very nice. And this is Windfall Island. Home of merchants, which we're going to come back to several times throughout our journey. It's basically where you go after completing a lot of quests and all that. But anyway. We can't do a ton right now. So let's just get to the important things. So let's go up this path over here. And... Go into this little room here. Welcome to the town jail. <laughs> and also, this guy, who you should recognize if you've seen Majora's Mask. Hmm, I see the same green clothes and the same green hat. By the look of you, I'd say, Sir, could you by chance be a fairy? Goodness! Did you feel the same telep tele telepathy? That's why you saved me, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Do not worry. Tingle knows uh, without you telling him. Sir, yes, sir. Tingle is my name. I've been looking forward to you and your kind, for I too long to be one of the fairy folk. And yet I was mistaken for some kind of troublemaker and put into this dreadful sort of place. How disrespectful. Please, Mr. Fairy, please re rescue poor Tingle from this place and take him to where you and your kind live in splendor. Okay, crazy man. I'm gonna just press this switch in the corner here. 
Ah, oh, open the cell. Ah, the mistake's made. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. Yay! Hooray! Thank you, oh, so very much. Here is Tingle's heartfelt gift of thanks. Tingle, Tingle, Kulu Limpa. Become an item. And he does the item get pose. You got a Tingle bottle for only Wii U version, but also can't, it's not really, yeah, it, mm, Miiverse died. It's fine. Using Miiverse, you can insert a message you've written and send it out to sea for someone unknown to receive. Cool idea. It's kind of, I don't know if it still works at this point. Be aware that you can, can't can write letters if you're not connected to Miiverse. So yeah, it doesn't work anymore. But it was cool at the time because you could, yeah, you could write a letter or like draw a little message on it and then throw it out and then somebody else could actually find it if they're connected to Miiverse. Mr. Fairy, are you familiar with Miiverse? With, with it, messages put in a bottle. Uh, but this bottle can be sent out to sense of fairies the world over. A communi communion of minds, heart beating as one. Just don't write anything unpleasant, okay? Not that I have to remind you, Mr. Fairy. Splendid, Tinkle is returning now to his own special island. Will you come find him? Ah, I was forgetting something important. Alright, Mr. Fairy, you want to come to my island, don't you? Don't you? Don't you? You got Tingle's chart. What kind of chart could it be? Head out to sea and then check your charts on the map screen to find out. Open it on the map screen. If you ever need any help with your charts, just leave it to Tingle. Don't ever forget. And if you'd like to give your Tingle bottles that extra little extra oomph that all Tingles crave, you should check uh, the back of this cell. Check it right out. So yeah. Ah, you can now send letters in Tingle bottles used by using Miiverse. Set it to a thing. Uh, to send a letter to you of your own. You can even use a picture box to include a pictograph with your message. Pick up Tingle's bottles that you find laying on beaches or floating in the sea. Or sometimes really weird places up on the land. <laughs> to read letters other people have written. You can adjust your message settings at any time from the settings screen. Well, uh, we can't do that because that's kind of non... not alive anymore. But yeah, that was a thing that existed. It also kind of spoiled something else that we're going to look at in just a second if we just get rid of this box and crawl through this tunnel. Now, I can't actually remember how to get through this tunnel, but I will try. If you see wood on the ground on the path that you could be taking, do not, do not, just do not. I feel like I'm going the wrong way already, but I don't know exactly. It's probably fine. If you do take a path with wood on it, it will drop you out back where the King of Red Lions is. I think I'm doing this correctly. Actually, maybe? Oh, I might have actually taken a little bit long way. That's okay, because we're on the main path now. We can also tap down the right stick to get a first-person view, so you can actually see if there's a wooden path like that one there in front of you. I think this is the right way. I'm pretty sure. Yep, here we go. We end up in this little cave here with lots of skulls in it, which is a little bit concerning, considering who was just in the cell. But we can uh, open this chest here. To get the picture box, you can hold up to 12 pictographs. Press the R to view your pictographs. So yeah, we can now take pictures with it, if we set it to something. We can only hold 12 though, so we'll have to delete some if we ever use too much. You can zoom in and out, and it can only take in, uh, uh, black and white pictures, basically. Yeah, just black and white pictures with this, so. But you can include them in tingle bottles, which you can't use anymore, unless it's usable in a future version, but anyway. Date unknown. At last I have succeeded in stealing the picture box I have desired for so long. Succeeded, yes, but sadly. Due to a slight mistake on my part, I was also caught. I have been imprisoned. But I do not give in easily. I refuse to give this wondrous box to my captors. 
I have decided to hide it here in the depths of my cell and then make my escape by tunneling out. Yes, that is my plan. You didn't guess. You, uh, okay. Of course, if I ever successfully escape from my, this prison, I shall one day return to recover the picture box. I will write the controls for it in this in case I should forget them. Yeah, I've set it to an item slot. Press A to snapshots, L and R also work. Use the left stick to zoom in and out. And press R, ZR to switch to its delightful pictograph viewing mode. It saves up to 12 pictographs at a time. Oh, how it pains me to leave it. I just wish I could get out of here so I could start taking pictographs. And yeah, so that means Tingle was in here and that leaves a lot of questions about the skulls in here. Anyway, let's get out of here, and I think I'm actually going to take one of the the bad paths to get out faster, probably. So let's do that. And there we go. Hello. Did you get this a sale? Once we leave this island, it may be some time before we return again return to to its shores. Make sure you've brought everything you need before we depart. Okay. Well, let's keep an eye out. Uh, I don't know why I was going with that sentence. Let's get what we need and get out of here. <laughs> you know? You know. That's all, it's all, it's all that matters. I don't think there's anything else we can do right now. I guess there might be a few things, but anyway. We have more important things to do. My story is a strange one. I came across cursed seas from a land far away, a land where the blizzards blow violently, heading for this town called Windfall. But dear me, as I traveled, a terrible storm descended and tore my ship to bits. Yet mysteriously, only that escaped uh, without so much as a mark on it. From the looks of you, I would say you are travelers as well. Oh yes indeed. Could you not purchase that from me? It is is my one and only heirloom from my home. The people of this town do not seem the least bit interested in that. Despite the fact that it would help them travel the dangerous seas about their own. About, yeah. Please, I beg of you, I wish to open a business here in this town, so I am in desperate need of finances. How does 80 rupees sound? Sounds pretty good, it's half my money. I'll buy it. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much indeed. I have received pre precisely 80 rupees for it. I can use these funds to finance my new business. Oh dear me, what a happy day. Very well, young master, as I promised, take please take that. And that being a boat sail. Press A while on your boat to pull it out and B again to put it away. Yes, yes, yes. You have made a good purchase today, my young master. And you have saved my life and business as well. Treasure it dearly. It is the finest sale in the world. Treat it as such. So there we go. We have a sale now. So we can actually get out of here. There are a few other things I guess we could do now. But for the moment, I just want to keep moving on. But also, for now, that is it. So thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time. For when we get off this island, I guess.